Good day, folks. Welcome back to another tying video. Um, tonight, we are going to tie up a neat little leech pattern. Um, this is the bipolar balance leech. And um, this was developed by Gord of the Fly Guys uh, Northern Division. Um, it's a wicked, wicked little leech pattern. They're kind of on the menu this time of year. Um, so we thought we would uh, tie this one up for you. Um, you can, uh, it's super versatile, as I said, you can uh, strip this thing, you can hang it under an indicator like you would any other leech, and you can actually flip it from balanced to unbalanced. Uh, so it's pretty neat uh, design, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I've got a size eight, uh, straight eye or down eye nymph hook here um, and a one eighth uh, gold bead and um, just tying with uh, black thread this one we're doing is uh, black and red um, you can do olive you can do browns you can do blacks you can really change up the uh, the colors so I'm just going to dress the hook here and the first material that I'm going to tie in is a piece of black marabou. So <clears throat> this step I think I do a little bit different than the original. It is uh, The original is on the website and uh, you can check it out there. Um, this is very very close I think and uh, I'm just going to tie the marabou in right at the back here and wrap that just about to the bend there and I just throw a couple loops underneath <clears throat> now I've got some uh, this is a medium you can use large uh, as well um, red wire and I'm just gonna tie this in alongside the shank here and then we will wrap this wire a few times around the hook here. And you're just not ribbing it, but you're just getting it up to about the two thirds point here. That looks pretty good there. And you're just going to tie that wire off so that it's straight up. And I like to make sure that's nice and secure in there. And then you can just kind of keep it out of your way. It's a little bit long, this piece. You can, uh, we'll trim it down to length afterwards. Um, but that'll keep it out of the way for now. So we'll make sure all that wire is bound down nice and tight secure and that looks good there for now so now what I've got is some uh, this is a black and red <clears throat> polar chenille um, pretty awesome color this one so I'm just going to get it tied in down the hook shank here right to the back that looks good and just even wraps till they get to my wire and I'm just going to skip in front and leave everything or leave my thread behind the bead and then we'll just start Wrapping this polar chenille <clears throat> Just stroking everything back Trying to keep it angled To the back so I'm not trapping too many fibers So I'm going to do one wrap nice and tight to the wire <clears throat> skip 
over to the other side. And just keep wrapping it until I get right up to the bead. And two full wraps there. Just like so. Pull that nice and snug. And then just capture that polar chenille. And trim out the excess. Like so couple wraps. <clears throat> Just pull this stuff back out of your way. Come in with your whip finisher. Couple in here. Okay. <clears throat> so now you've got your wire and what you're going to do is like to just make one and a half almost two wraps right there and then trim that wire just like so and I can just tuck it in there now the <clears throat> Next step is to just take some warm water. You can just uh, run it under the sink if you like. <clears throat> but I'm just going to grab it here. And just give it a quick dip here in some water. And now you can see the finished fly. So the warm water will help it to uh, to hold its shape once it uh, dries out. And if this is at all a bit long for your likings, then you can just kind of trim it up a little bit if you want. But having it a little long isn't a bad thing because it uh, just adds more movement in the water. And then, so with the wire, I mean, you can fish it like it is, just like so, um, loop knot, way you go. Uh, but the reasoning for the wire is if you want to hang this under an indicator, tie your tippet to the hook eye as if you normally would, but before, um, bring it back this way, wrap the wire over top of it, and then your tippet will come back here. You can tie that onto your swivel or um, what, however your rig is and then it's going to fish balanced for you um, <clears throat> so like i say pretty neat design by gourd um, on this one i think it's a pretty cool pattern so hopefully you enjoyed the video um, that's all there is to the bipolar balance leech i hope you enjoyed this one give us a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and until the next one cheers and tight lines